How's it going, you pheasants, and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day as always. And today I'm gonna be uh, giving my girlfriend's BMW a wash. It is long overdue. It's been a couple months, if not more actually, that it's had a serious wash. Um, I've got my setup that I'll walk through again. Um, very happy with it. I've perfected it for the most part. Um, so, first things first, I'm just gonna walk through the car a little bit. This is my girlfriend's 2011 328i. Um, it's in actually pretty, pretty good shape. There's gonna be cars driving by, sorry, it's a Sunday. It's not quite as busy as it normally is, but. As a semi-truck drives by, it's really annoying. Um, anyway. It's not terribly dirty. I mean, it does live in town, so. But, there's some bird poop and other surface contaminants. Uh, I'm also gonna try to use the clay mitt on pretty much any of the flat surfaces, so like up top and the hood, just uh, to remove any iron fallout or any contaminants on the paint. So, um, I'm not super happy with the quality of the audio in this video for the most part. Um, I've also I've bought two microphones. One of them is just one that sits on top of the camera, and then I've got another one that will pretty much sit on the body. It's called a lav lavalier mic. Um, but I'm going to do pretty much a voiceover on the majority of this video just because you really can't hear me talk and that kind of sucks. Like usual I've got my uh, rubber brush, rim, rim, little detail brush as the face, I've got my portable power washer, and I've got all of my jugs of water for my distilled and that's my wash bucket. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get to these rims. Of course, I'll be using my uh, Meguiar's iron removing spray clay as my wheel cleaner. Um, I am also going to try to listen to myself with headphones on as well as talk over it. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, um, these rims have not been cleaned in a while. Hopefully there aren't too many background sounds. <laughs> it's like, it's August 1st, so there's people moving in at the apartment complex. Um, but uh, I like to spray the rockers just because there's iron fallout, dirt, stuff that the uh, McGuire's will eat away at as I clean the uh, wheels. Um, Yeah, there's a there's a hornet that was flying around when I was filming this, so that was lovely. Um, in terms of kind of what's going on with, with my life, uh, I applied for a graduate assistant position at Western, and I've been waiting to hear back from them. They told me the end of July, and it's now August 1st, so I am waiting. <laughs> And it should be this week, hopefully, I'll find out to see if grad school will be paid for. Or at least helped with by the school. Um, and if they help pay for it, then I'm going to look harder and a little more serious for the next vehicle. Um, I'd like to find a Z3, but I'm also not dedicated to that vehicle at least. I mean, I'd be happy finding a 335i or something. And if I don't get it, I would really like to purchase an e-bike. Um, I've been tossing the idea around of purchasing like a Velo Wave or a Ventin or or something similar to that. Um, the school is like half a mile away. No, sorry, it's like a, a mile away. Um, and 
rather than beating up the vehicle every day going to school, and especially if I'm a grad, uh, especially if I'm a TSA, then I'll be going to the school very often, um, back and forth. So having an e-bike would make that really easy. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, they're a little, they're a little pricey, but I've saved up quite a bit of money from working all summer long. Um, so that's kind of the the big part. That's that's the big thing in my life right now. Waiting to waiting to see what happens. But the yeah, that red brush mm, does not work with Allie's rims. They uh, there's a brick dust guard and stuff, and it gets blocked. That that brush is pretty much useless. So I I grabbed the blue one, and even then that blue one was a tight fit as I'm sure you'll probably hear because it's very loud. I don't know how I'm going to balance the audio between this voice <laughs> recording and the actual recording of the video. The camera also is going in and out of focus quite a bit, mainly because of my arm. Um, my arm's closer and it's wanting to focus on that, but it'll jump back to the rim here in a few seconds. That blue brush is pretty sweet. I got that at AutoZone. It's not like the highest quality thing ever, but it's pretty nice. Um, you can get the barrel of the rim, and that's just something that gets ignored a lot of the time. So when you're a little OCD like me, getting the barrel of the rim just feels good. <laughs> um, these are 17 inch rims. I actually, I do like the multi-spoke uh, I like that design more than what I have on mind. I like to upgrade at some point, but that's a it'll it's a good winter setup, so I'll keep it on there for now. Using the brush on the rockers, eh, not a big deal really. I know that you're kind of cross contaminating your uh, wheel brush to the paint, but the rockers are rock chipped and damage so not too worried about that I've seen a few people where they do the tires last or the rubber itself last so I tried it this time just just see what happens I don't know I don't really notice any difference and then I'll go ahead and rinse the rims the portable power washer man that is such a useful device. <laughs> um, it was over $200, but it's well worth the money. I'm glad I went. This was like the nicest one you could buy from, or really the only one, the nicest one that's you can buy that's available. I think it's like 700 PSI and 1.1 gallons per minute or something like that. It's enough pressure to clean and and it's nice just not to have to rely on the car wash itself. And you can go at your own speed. I wish car washes, I wish they had a system where if you're not actually using the water, it would not count down. And then as soon as you start spraying, then it would count down. That would I'd make cleaning wheels and actually cleaning the vehicle far easier than just counting down the entire time. But that probably won't ever change. Okay, so <clears throat> kind of moving on to the actual car wash now itself. Um, because this vehicle has not been cleaned in quite a bit of time, I went ahead and pretty much sprayed all the cracks and crevices with car soap and then went around with a detail brush just to dislodge stuff out of the body car, you know, the car lines and stuff. Emblems, badges, anything that's tight. Um, oh, and then I also use the actual car wash itself just because it's got a lot of more pressure a lot more pressure a lot of more that's that, nice words Eli nice words um, yeah yeah I rinsed it rinse it off blew some stuff out you know the normal and I've been using just detail detail what am I what am I even saying right now <laughs> um, I've been using towels or microfibers um, as my primary wash mitt. 
I always used to use wash mitts, but uh, I've kind of gone away from that. Obviously, try to start from top to bottom. Go in straight lines. You don't really have to use a lot of pressure. You can just kind of let the wash mitt slash towel do the majority of the work. Some people will do four, they, you know, they fold it four times, but yeah, I wasn't too worried about that. I'll just flip it over when it gets dirty. The material is so soft that, and it's never been used, so I wasn't too worried about introducing more scratches. I think there's like three towels in there. Yeah, I'm talking right now in the video and I have no idea what I'm saying, so this voiceover is very necessary. Um, I like to focus on the trim, the rubber trim itself, the sun, I mean this vehicle is like 11, 12 years old now at this point, and by now the sun has deteriorated the rubber, and you know, focusing on the rubber itself is what really will clean it. Um, well, it looks like I got out the uh, Adams Claim It. <laughs> Obviously, if I had more water and had access to just a normal power washer, I would have probably rinsed this whole vehicle and then gone around with the uh, claim it, but I didn't. But the surface is technically clean, and then I just used the leftover car soap that was on the body. That was my clay lube. Which I don't think this thing has ever really been uh, clayed. And you could you could feel it you could feel it in your hand all the little contaminants in the paint. I like washing cars. I like how low they are. You can easily get to the roof. On mine, I have to use the brush. So yeah, I did the top, the trunk, and the hood eventually. I don't know if I love that clay mitt. Um, I will say if you live in the country, if you have tar and chip roads, um, and you have little pieces of tar on the rear end of your vehicle or you know on the rockers or something, do not use the clay mitt. It will just smear it. Your best bet is to use a Goo Gone or a tar remover and do that first, get rid of the tar, and then go around with the clay mitt. I made that mistake with my X5. <laughs> I was washing it, used the clay mitt on the rear end of the vehicle, there was tar all over it, and she pretty much just made a smeary mess. And I got really scared because I was like, what is happening? I realized it was just tar getting smeared around, but bending over here made me really want quick jacks. If you don't know what quick jacks are, they're a hydraulic jack essentially. I mean, they go up on both sides of the vehicle and they lift it uh, a solid like two feet in the air. Man, they're so nice. I would love to use them, but they're pricey. It's always so funny rewatching yourself clean vehicles. You're just like, why are I, why am I doing this? Like, you go over stuff twice, and it's just sometimes it's cringe. I'm not gonna lie. And the lighting, ugh, the lighting in this car wash is. It was it wasn't even super sunny out, but the light from the outside just affected the video but it's no big deal whatever don't look at my butt okay just just don't look 
Allie, don't look at my butt. <laughs> okay, yeah, note to self. Don't don't bend over in front of the camera, Eli. Okay. Eli, you've already watched this again. Come on. Let's go. I hope this microphone sounds good, just totally random, but... So, should we be ready for a rinse here? I don't remember if I rinsed... Oh, I do rinse it on camera. Nice. So this is with distilled water now. And, uh, yeah. Really just normal, normal rinse. I'm pretty sure the video cuts off, because... Uh, the camera only records in 10 minute intervals, so I'm pretty sure it'll cut off here in about 40 seconds, but I just go around the vehicle like normal. Little to no water beating, which is expected, because this vehicle has very little paint protection on it. Looks good though. I like the color. I don't know what it's called in the BMW world, but... My X5 is flat black, and Allie's is uh, has like a little bit of a pearl to it. It's black, but yeah, I don't know. Alright, so now we're uh, back to this side. Lighting is also not great due to it being dark inside the car wash and rather bright outside, but oh well. Um, yeah, I rinse the vehicle some more, wash it some more, you know, just the usual. Um, I did make note during this clip, I won't use all of it, sorry, I'm yawning. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, it's a 10 minute clip, I'm not going to use it all. But I will make note about, you know, financial advice, I guess, from a 23-year-old. If I would hope that some of the people that are watching this are my age. Um, but uh, anyway, I've saved all thousands and thousands of dollars um, from decisions that I've made. Um, primarily just one of them, actually. But I went to a two-year community college right out of high school rather than going to a four-year school. Um, I don't know, there's there's something about high school students having to immediately go to a four-year school and going off to a different state and going off uh, away from their parents. There's, there's just something that, I don't know, almost every student feels like they need to do. But if you go to a community college that's two years long, um, they're pretty much half the price. Like... Western's tuition is right around five thousand dollars, which is actually very I mean in terms of state colleges It's actually on the low end of pricing, but The community college I went to that one was usually around twenty five hundred dollars a semester and I Lived with my parents, which I know that's like oh you live with your parents. Yeah, blah, 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 whatever uh, Again, I saved thousands of dollars from that. And because I got good grades in high school and I got good grades and I was a good kid and all that jazz, um, they helped me pay for uh, tuition. So it was usually 50-50, that was our agreement. And as long as I got good grades and all that, then they would continue that. And so that helped. And then I had a job from senior year and on. And on um, I... Uh, saved money and I used it to pay for tuition and as the camera goes out of focus that's awesome hopefully it'll snap back hey there it goes um so I did my two years of Sandburg Community College and then transferred to Western and I had good grades um I got a transfer scholarship 
got another scholarship that I don't remember. So that was like $1,500 out of tuition. And then my parents agreed to pay the other half and then I paid the other half. And, and basically at this point, um, master's student, four years of school done, I'm 100% debt free. Granted, I had a very good job um, starting my, let's see, that would have been, yeah, junior year of, high school, of college. Um, and I've been with that job now for over a year and a half. Um, but I just think that high school students just, they feel like they have to go to a four-year school and the crazy thing is the college classes that you take your first two years they're all very very alike they're all they're all the same essentially they're all general ed classes um, so there's there's no point in spending thousands of dollars more uh, to go to a four-year school and do the pretty much the same classes but I don't know at the end of the day it's kind of up to you what you want to do but there's there's a lot of money to be saved and there's also f state money that you can get from FAFSA and all that I don't know what other states call it I think it's the same but uh, rather than spend another five minutes in this clip I'm gonna buy skip to the next one and buy skip to the next one I don't know but yeah I do the normal just washing it oh yeah claim made it as well I also bought a BMW like. Well, I mean, my parents helped with that too. Which, you know what? I'll spend a few more minutes talking. Um, I have awesome parents. Like, incredibly thankful. Uh, they've provided so much for me and they've been so supportive. I, I cannot ask for better people in my life. Um, yeah, I absolutely love them. I've actually strongly considered not moving away due to them. I. I want to go see the world, of course, but I, I, I don't want to leave them. I'd feel, I'd feel horrible doing that. So, thank you, mom and dad. <laughs> they watch these videos too, so they'll probably see this. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and probably skip this part. So. So here, I pretty much just do the rest of the vehicle. There's really nothing to note. Um, top to bottom. Take your time. Enjoy the vehicle. Enjoy washing. Enjoy the process. I would say that doing hand wash on your vehicle makes your uh, the connection or just I don't know makes the vehicle feel less of, less of a uh, object than more of a relationship, but I don't know. That's just me. I'm not. I'm not the normal, average person. I wish I didn't have to do this in a car wash, but it works. I've made it work. I will not complain. All right, we're gonna skip this part. So, um, yeah, just pretty much ended the video here for the most part. Um, rinse in the vehicle. The rain X on the windshield and glass has held up pretty well, as you can see. Um, see the water being, it's pretty good. Whole vehicle has been rinsed with distilled water at this point, so I'll go ahead and take it outside and let it dry, and there won't be any water spots. And then later on in the day, I um, will apply the 303 graphene detailer, but I don't do that on camera. I do want to make a video on that, but that'll be that'll be another week or so. Um, but, uh, yeah, other than that, I know I say this on the outro, but getting closer to 200 subscribers, which, that's not really a lot in the YouTube world, but it feels like a lot for me, so I will happily take it. Um, this isn't going to be my normal type of video, but this is just kind of a, oh crap, your audio sucks, we're going we're gonna to make it work, so, um, I do plan on testing out these lavalier mics, um, for maybe a gaming video and then a product e a product review so we'll see how it goes 
Um, oh yeah, I sprayed this other Meguiar's. It's supposed to be a, uh, <clears throat> um, whatchamacallit, shoot, can't think of it now. It's supposed to be like a bead maker or a drying aid, but uh, there's another one that I like more by uh, Turtle Wax. But anyway, we're going to go cut to the outro. Thank you guys for watching the videos. Um, if you like this one, drop a like. There's going to be more of them in the future. I want to do more product reviews as always. And getting closer to 200 subscribers, which is sweet. Can't wait. Um, yeah, like the video, subscribe if you want. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Alright, see ya.